Hey everybody, welcome to Brickfall. My name is Jack. Today we're reviewing a Ninjago set. This is the Titanium Ninja Tumbler. The set is recommended for ages 7 to 14. It is set number 70588. It has 342 pieces and the set was given to us by LEGO to do a review. So thanks a lot guys. This set looks really, really easy to build. I have a feeling it's not going to take me very long. So let's get started. Alright, so basic impressions of the set is that I'm actually pretty happy with the way the tumbler turned out. I'm going to talk about the build first, we'll get into the minifigs at the end, and you can definitely see why this was called the Titanium Tumbler, and that's because it definitely sort of has a reminiscent look of what the Batman Tumbler looked like from the Christopher Nolan movie. It's a little bit more Beetle-like, but the influences from the original vehicle are definitely there, and I think for the most part the detailing actually works pretty well. But it's not really the detailing so much that I like about this set. There's just a couple of really nice sort of fold out features that are a bit uncommon and that we don't really see in a lot of vehicles. And I think the build that creates the function is pretty good. Specifically, I mean the fold out function where the two spring loaded shots come out from the side. I think it just looks really good. It's a great way to hide the spring loaded shots. And the internal build for it is just so simple and it works really, really consistently. I think the uh, side pieces too that fold out really sort of match up well with these uh, wedge pieces that make up sort of the angled armor on the outside side. It feels kind of like it fits in sort of like a loose puzzle piece or something like that. The second function that I think works also very well is the way the cockpit folds out. I'm a big fan of easy accessibility when it comes to putting minifigs in and out of a vehicle. I think it has a huge factor on whether or not you're going to be playing with the vehicle in that way. And this is as easy as it gets. It also looks kind of cool. On the inside you can see, well, sort of upside down, there's that sticker detailing that shows sort of the control console. And by the way, all the details that you see on on the outside of all these pieces. They're all stickers. There's no prints in the set, which is sort of expected. And to get to sort of the parts that kind of detract me from the build, it's mostly just the back. The back feels a bit incomplete and I'm never a fan of those giant obtuse triggers. You can see when I'm pushing the activation technic piece that they probably could have shortened it quite a bit and it wouldn't have had any sort of different qualities. And in general, there's just a few open stud areas here that I feel like could look better. Also, there's another function which works, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the way the flyer works with Zane, but you can just pop it off the back of the actual build. And that also reveals a little sort of frozen prison chamber as well. This part works fine too, and it looks okay. But for the most part, I'm just really impressed with the way the cockpit works and the opening spring loaded shots. Now jumping into the minifigs, this is Zane. He's all titanium. I'm a big fan of the titanium crew cut, and I'm not going to go too much into describing the details of this guy. I have done like a complete collection video on all the different Ninjago characters if you guys want to check that out but for the most part I think this is a pretty decent version of the character. The Ninjroids on the other hand are not quite as interesting. I do sort of like the uh, torn away pieces that show the mechanical structures on the underside of these guys and the printing on the back of the head also revealing more metal is kind of a nice touch but maybe I'm just too spoiled on minifigs having leg printing and arm printing these days. They do look a little bit incomplete and maybe overdone on certain parts. One of the Ninjroids also comes with a flyer. It's a little bit different from Zane's. I like this one a little more. It just looks better. It kind of works better with the neck bracket. But for the most part, I'm not really a fan of a build that goes on a minifig that doesn't really allow them to stand up on their own, at least not easily. Now, here's the set all together. I got to say, final thoughts are I think it actually worked better than I initially was anticipating. 342 pieces sells for 30 bucks. I feel like the price point is just about there. It maybe would have been cool if we had a little bit of a land build. But ultimately, it was a pleasant surprise to see some sort of unique functions included with the titanium tumbler like so many Ninjago sets. It does sort of fall victim to the obtuse trigger systems that kind of detract from the look a little bit, but the core design and feel to the vehicle I think was really, really successful. All right, that is it for this little set review, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.